So if you're new to incubating eggs, hopefully this seventh short clip of seven about our Octagon 20 and 40 advanced incubators will give you the information you need about when to count them and what to do with hatching. So on about day 11 uh, of incubation, you need to check that you have viable embryos by candling the eggs with a candling kit such as this one. So this is um, an overview and over scope kit. So in here, I've got an over scope and I've got a little candler, overview candler. So what I want to do is I want to uh, take uh, an egg from my incubator at day 11, check all the eggs basically and make sure that uh, I have fertile eggs. So at day 11, my candler is like a torch. It uh, emits a, 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 a strong light. Um, I can have, I can, if, if I've got dark shelled eggs, I can get hold of a high intensity version of this. Uh, this simply creates a dark environment in which to check the egg. So I put that on top of my candler. I put my egg inside. I put the little cap back on. And this little piece of kit uh, allows you to both to rotate the eggs within the overscope and also creates a certain level of magnification. So when you look down here, uh, you can get an indication of how the egg is progressing in, in, in its development. Now, what we're looking for on day 11 is uh, something that looks a little bit like this, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, you begin to see um, a, a, a more dense formation of the embryo there. And uh, you'll also see a beating uh, heart. Um, so if you're not seeing that by day 11, it's an indication that you haven't got um, uh, a fertile egg or for some reason the, the embryo has died before it's got to that point. And a, a blood ring is usually a good indication of um, an egg that uh, has, the embryo has died. So um, eggs that aren't fertile, uh, we want to remove because uh, those eggs can have an impact on the development of the other eggs around it. So we've candled our eggs at day 11. Uh, we get to um, day 19, which is when we want to prepare for hatching. Uh, so at that point, what we need to do is to stop the turning. So we take our incubator off of the cradle and position it nice and flat. We don't need the cradle anymore, so I can just remove that as I'm being. Um, and what we need to do is, in preparation for hatching, get rid of the separating bars uh, for the where the eggs are because we do not want chicks that hatch to injure themselves as they try and step over these these uh, wire loop bars taking those out all of those out okay so that's removed those ready for hatching what we also then need to do is to add water to our second reservoir so if you remember we have had one reservoir two-thirds full we're now going to make sure all the reservoirs are two-thirds full because we're targeting 65 percent humidity at the point of for the last two days of, of hatching um, so we've added the water we've taken the bars away uh, we put the lid back on and when we put the lid back on we'll make sure it's 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 nicely sealed so there's no air gaps there and we want to make sure that we close the vent so that uh, it's only about a third open um, again to aid uh, the increasing the humidity in there. The higher humidity helps prevent the membranes drying and hardening before the chicks fully emerge from the egg. Once we've gone into um, lockdown as they call it we don't really want to be lifting that lid less than every six hours so it helps maintain the humidity and we can leave the chicks in there for one to two days after they've hatched 
before transferring them under um, a heat source uh, like this. And this is what we call an electric hen or a brooder. And this emits a, uh, a very nice radiant heat, which keeps those chicks warm. They'll huddle, huddle underneath here. And at the point where you transfer them into a cardboard box with one of these inside, uh, with a little bit of chick crumb, and a little bit of water and make sure if you've got a little bowl of water you put marbles in the water to stop the chicks from from drowning in the water and that is really it um, thank you very much